Morning, and you can see on the roads they're looking pretty good. Uh, Colleen, of course, is checking on traffic for us in other spots. And as far as our weather goes, it's good again, but it is kind of chilly. So whatever you used yesterday, a light jacket, a sweater, sweatshirts, or even a coat. I mean, you could break out a light coat, I think, north of the lake since we're in the 40s. You'll probably want whatever you had yesterday again this morning. The difference may be that you want to shed the coat or jacket a little earlier than yesterday because we do start our warming trend today but not yet this morning. We're at 53 at our Kenner International Airport location, and we do have low humidity. Winds are calm there, so this has made a difference compared to yesterday. Yesterday, it was a little breezy south of the lake still, and that kept our temperatures up a bit right along the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Today, with those near calm winds, that's allowed the temperatures to drop more efficiently. Now, the exception is the lakefront, still 64 there. But hop over to Slidell, not far, 47 degrees there. Bell Chase is at 47, Reserve 48. And if you're over at Homa this morning, you're at 48 as well. Thibodeau 47 and Galliano a chilly 44 degrees on this Wednesday morning and our satellite radar very quiet. All we have to point out yesterday and today was just where the surface high is and high pressure of course is where the stable sinking air is located. So really all across the southeast we just have a quiet kind of look out there early this morning. We're expecting mostly sunny skies today a little bit warmer than yesterday highs about 78. And then tonight will be mostly clear to maybe partly cloudy and not quite as chilly. North of the lake lows about 55 as opposed to 40s. And then south of the lake low temperatures closer to 60 or so instead of 53 like we are right now and might even drop another degree or so before sunrise. Here's precision cast. The high begins to move east and notice the circulation, the clockwise circulation around the high will start to usher in southeast winds. So that may allow enough moisture to increase from the Gulf of Mexico to maybe pop up a shower or two tomorrow. Now this is tomorrow afternoon and evening 5 p.m. This model wants to go with a little bit of shower activity. I don't think we're going to see a lot of rain and in fact even this might be too much rain. So I have our rain chance near about maybe 10 or 20 percent for tomorrow. Here's the front. Unfortunately not bringing a line of showers with it like we would like since we're on our drought conditions, but at least we are ensured very pleasant weather for the weekend. So here's our high temperature forecast. Note that the normal or average high for this point in October is 80 degrees. So today will be close to that. Tomorrow I have us right at average and then the rest of the week will be a little above that Friday and then temperatures coming down as that slightly cooler air moves in and we may get another reinforcing shot of some slightly drier air, not really cooler, but kind of drier air at the beginning of the week on Monday. So that may bring our temperatures or kind of keep our temperatures around 80. In the upper atmosphere, here's our trough uh, with cooler weather that shifts away from us. We start to see zonal flow that's west to east that just kind of ensures sort of just tranquil weather usually and slightly warming. And then at the end of next week, middle and end of next week, we may start to warm up even more with some high pressure building. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like another really big cool down with any uh, super chilly snap is going to be moving in at least for the next maybe one to possibly two weeks or so. But we do have that front on Friday with that slight rain chance. The weekend still looks great for the Washington Parish Fair. For other things happening this weekend, I've been showing a bunch of event forecasts because we have so many things happening. It looks very comfortable. 50s to 60s for the morning highs in the lower 80s, but low humidity and lots of sun. A pleasant feel, even if it's a little above average, especially Friday and Saturday.